So we covered the uh, the low guard passes, which are going to be um, you know any time that they're lifting you up from underneath your legs here. Now um, the one that we didn't cover is the over under pass, um, and part of that is really because I don't really have a defense for that, and so I will um, I will talk to my coach about that and uh, let you guys know what he says. Um, so I'll, maybe I'll take send him a text so that uh, to remind both of us to think about that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start talking about uh, knee cut passes. So once um, you know you know that they're in that um, that combat base position, right? Um, if they are starting to um, cut over, the first thing I need to uh, let's go ahead and talk about that for a second, right? So if I'm doing a knee cut pass, right? If I'm coming to the same side, so I pin up off this side, right? Um, this leg, and I'm gonna be turning to face him, so I'm not gonna have to worry about him coming around to my back, right? So the things that I have to worry about is getting caught in the half guard. So I need to keep this leg pinning that near side thigh. I'm gonna get that underhook here, right? And then I can either put, I'm gonna put my hand here, or I'm gonna put it here, and then I'm gonna put my knee here, right? Next to his hip, and then I can come out, or I can block his hip, back step, and come into that side control position, okay? So, let's go ahead and talk about that particular knee cut. So again, um, if the half guard is there, if somebody's not minding that, uh, that pinning that leg and keeping it there when they're going for that guard pass, because they're just like, oh boy, guard pass, and they bring it off, um, go for the half guard, that's going to be a very good thing to do. But um, generally speaking, um, the, the thing that's going to make this guard pass really, really work is going to be that getting of the head control, right? As long as he doesn't have head control, uh, he doesn't really have, uh, he really can't complete that pass, right? Um, because the, his only connection with you is going to be with that knee, okay? So, and that's going to be true of both uh, guard passes that I'm going to show you here. But, um, so I got that uh, knee cut. So if I know that he's gonna try to cut this way, and I know that I'm not really good at blocking that, right? I might force him into the other knee cut, and I know that for that one, I need to keep my elbow on this side pinned down, because if he can't get that, right, then he has to um, basically switch sides again, right? And if he doesn't get that and continues with it, right, so, you know, instead of cutting this way, I'm cutting this way, right? Um, this head control doesn't matter as much. It's this underhook on this side that matters, right? So I underhook that shoulder and then I can start to slide through. But if I don't have that shoulder and I am like trying to get this and I uh, slide all the way through, look, it, we're basically spooning. I can, you know, um, he's passing my guard and he doesn't have, you know, that, uh, that underhook on this side. So I can come out and I can take him into my lap and now I have his back. And we're in full back mount, it's gonna really suck for him. So, you know, if I feel like they're going to knee cut this way, I pop my hip up this way so that he has to come here because I might have a better chance of him um, cut, uh, missing that underhook, right? Because I'm being very defensive about it. And bring him into uh, the back mount there, right? So if he keeps coming around this way though, right? The first thing that I need to be uh, mindful of is I don't want him to get that head control, um, but I also want to be very mindful about my um, my hands and the, they're not extending in a bad way, right? Because again, uh, if I'm extending mostly with this hand, he's gonna dark choke me, right? He's gonna lace through that arm, hook my head, triangle, and then sprawl out and that's, you know, I'm giving an open, an open path to that. So I need to keep this elbow tucked in so that he doesn't have as good of a path that guard, uh, for the uh, underhook. So I'm probably going to be mostly working with this hand. And the thing that people tend to get wrong with this pass is that, um, you know, they make their hands do all the work, right? So, you know, I'm going to be making him follow me, right? I want him to extend himself out. Come on, come on! Give me that damn hand control! Right? And so by me maintaining that distance the entire time throughout that pass makes him have to chase me, makes him uh, unroot himself basically, and I can do a lot more things to him. So um, he's cutting with this leg, right? And so 
he's got this thigh pinned down, so he's going to be able to follow me for the most part there, but I still want to unstable him. So if I unstabilize him, so if I can, right, I want to keep this arm from getting that unhook, and if I can, I'm going to put it between his legs, right? And what that's going to do, right, is it's going to put him in this position, right? I can't continue forward, and now I've got a little bit of a dead angle here, right? So he's on my thigh. I've got this pin between his between here, right? If I could, right, I could, you know, potentially just hold on to that wrist with this hand, grab his shoulders, and start to pull him like his neck, and start to pull him down to the mat, right? And he's gonna have that dead angle there. He can't block that as much. And so from here, I'm gonna start to come up and take side control myself, right? So we're defending that guard pass, hopefully, in a very effective manner. Sorry, I should do this Trump style. Sorry, no politics. Anyways, um, so that's that's kind of one way that you can start to um, defend this pass. Um, I suppose, like, since you know what's keeping him on top of me, and I, I've never thought about this before until just now. Um, but you know, if I'm trying to shrimp away and he's pinning this leg, you know, I don't see really a reason why you might not want to put your foot underneath his ankle here as you're coming out of here, and then, you know, potentially, shuck, right? So now he's off my thigh. So I would give that a try. I, I, I'll talk to my coach about that, but yeah, I'm here, and so I'm here, and I'm shucking his leg down, and that will help me to kind of create some uh, distance, some space there. Um, so we've covered kind of like, kind of the principles of kind of getting um, to a better position. Um, if they're doing the same side knee cut here, right, um, another thing that I could potentially do is I could take my leg and pin it over here. So now I'm connected to him so he's not going to be able to follow around as easily. Um, and that might be another good way to uh, kind of prevent that guard pass. So we kind of talked about both sides a little bit and I think that's a pretty good foundation for right now. Um, but again, the thing about uh, these guard passes, as well as like the hip escape from mount, right, is that it's not going to be, you know, shrimp, shrimp. It's not going to be, right? What it's going to be is it's going to be, right? You have to be willing to travel all the way across the map. Right? So someone's passing your guard and they're being they're really good at this guard pass. It's really clear that they're gonna make it through, right? So move down the mat, make it so that they they have to chase you because that's going to that's going to make it harder for them to get that pass, right? Um, and again for the other one we're looking at blocking that underhook as one of our primary things that we're going to do. Now I know I recently went over um, more things to do from the guard, like you know, if we if I'm going you know, here, and then I'm forced to go here, right? Um, at this point in time, right, if I can't get that underhook, right, a lot of times here, I'm gonna be able to get the underhook here. So we have to be very mindful of that, right? Because if he gets the underhook here, he can start going back for this pass, right? And so from here, you know, maybe you can, you can let that leg go over, maybe, um, since I have the unhook on that side, I can do a slide through. I can do all kinds of things to kind of complete that pass. So we do have to be kind of mindful of that. And a lot of times what's gonna, it's gonna end up happening is kind of pulling them into quarter guard. Um, but even that, guys, um, is not a particularly good strategy. And I don't know of anything, anything good that comes from that, to be perfectly honest, other than he doesn't pass your guard. Um, again, you know, if, if I get caught in that quarter guard, Right, so somebody grips it here and I'm like trying to do that uh, slide through thing and it's not working. Now I'm gonna take my knee to the other side and I'm gonna bear and roll up and I'm gonna take his back, right? So, you know, that's another thing that happens. A lot of times I can't hold on to that. Another thing, if you're holding on to that quarter guard, I can take a big back step and now I'm, like, I'm there ready to do the knee bars that we just talked about. So, you know, be mindful if you're, if you're going to be playing that uh, quarter, car, quarter guard game that um, there are follow-ups to that and the follow-ups are really, really not good for you. So um, just be really, really mindful that if you can't get that to slide into a full half guard, um, it might not be worth it to um, 
hold on to that too much. But keep in mind, like, right, when we're talking about mount, right, we, we did this escape a while back where we straighten out, step, step over, and basically pull into a quarter guard and lift his leg back up, right? And so, you know, this is the same position, right? He's going for the knee cut, and if he gets that knee all the way to the ground, that's fine, right? Um, because that's how he started off in mount. So from here, I'm gonna hip in towards that, towards that knee and get underneath it to lift it back up. And from here, guys, um, you know, we have a bunch of things that we can do. If we can get that arm across the body here, you know, maybe I can start to come up for, uh, towards his back here. Uh, maybe I can push him into a full half guard. Maybe I can get my Z guard where I'm blocking his hip with this knee, right? So I've got all these different things that I can start to set up from uh, that position. So, I know this is a long video, but it's, it's kind of a complicated, good uh, set of subjects, uh, concepts to kind of work with. So let's go ahead and move on. We're going to go hit that standing uh, area, and then we'll call it a day.